Good morning. So again, I'm just uh, working through some of the key dates and uh, writing about on this day in Messianic Jewish history. The 16th of May 1905 was the birth of a giant of New Testament scholarship, Werner Georg Kummel, who turned out to be three-eighth Jewish. Now, I little realized this when I started studying theology in the 1970s, and we all had to read his <laughs> introduction to the New Testament, which was a massive theological tome. The first essay we all had to write was to try and solve the synoptic problem, the relationships and sources and dating of the synoptic gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke. And as a young theology student, I found just getting to grips with his encyclopedic and deep and critical and detailed text a challenge. I didn't realize at the time that he was a Jewish disciple of Jesus, or at least according to the Nuremberg laws passed by the National Socialists, he was three-eighths Jewish, whilst he came from a German family famous for its learning in the arts and sciences. His mother was reckoned as half Jewish, and his grandmother was fully Jewish. So, according to the National Socialists, his mother was 75% non Aryan, and he, Kummel, was three eighths Jewish. Uh, now, this wasn't really a problem to Kummel. He uh, got equipped with all his degrees uh, in Germany, but then accepted a professorship in Zurich in Switzerland in the 1930s. But if he had stayed in Germany, uh, he would have been a German nationalist in many ways, but not a supporter of the Nazi families. His, his books have stood the test of time. They've been translated into different languages. Um, his academic career was nurtured in the highest echelons of German scholarship. And uh, there was a personal rivalry between him and other uh, German New Testament scholars because I think they were a little jealous and also when it was known or generally known that he was partly Jewish, they tried to ban him from teaching in Germany. They tried to have his name removed from the membership list of the Society for the New Testament Studies, Studiorum Novi Testamenti Societas. Uh, and um, he, along with um, Rudolf Bultmann and others, signed letters saying that they did not accept the Aryan paragraph, the paragraph that forbade Jewish uh, Christians and Jewish scholars from participating in university education. He took risks uh, and he would have been denied his German citizenship, he would have been denied his life probably had he been back in Germany, but uh, because he was in Switzerland he was able to survive. However, uh, as he was to discover uh, his mother's sister was arrested and transported to Theresienstadt concentration camp in September 1942, where she died after a few months. Uh, Kummel died in 1995 in Mainz, and I give thanks for him. No serious student of the New Testament can be unfamiliar with the contribution of Werner Kummel to the academic discipline. But few would realize his Jewish background and the danger this posed for not only his professional career, but also his life and safety. For me, as a Jewish disciple of Yeshua, this illustrates how fragile life is, how often Jewish Christians live in the interstitial space between the two faith communities, and how much they contribute. Kummel may never have chosen to identify as Jewish, even though it may have been held against him and led to threats and opposition against him. But his work speaks for itself, leaves its own legacy, and sheds the light of faith and truth on his Messiah Yeshua. So I give thanks for the life and the work of Werner Kummel, three-eighths Jewish and a scholar of the New Testament, the traditional Hebrew blessing, Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaAlam, Shehalach Mahayamato Lereav. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, King of the universe, 
who imparted some of his wisdom to those who fear him, the traditional blessing for seeing a scholar. Thank you for watching and God bless you.